think the biggest challenge is probably around cybersecurity. Um, there have been a number of very large attacks recently. The size of our uh, IT estates just keep getting bigger and bigger, trying to keep on top of patching, trying to keep on top of preventative measures, and trying to keep on top of responses is, is, uh, is quite a challenge. Cyber security is, is only going to um, heighten. Um, there's probably been more attacks, um, so that is something which we, we, we do need to have a continual focus on. I think the, the introduction of um, GDPR in uh, May 25th uh, of next year is going to be uh, significant for a lot of businesses the usual stuff, it's artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning and trying to identify how applicable they're going to be for different parts of our business. Artificial intelligence, machine learning and uh, blockchain technologies, so those, those are the three key uh, technologies that I think are going to be uh, hearing a lot more of um, as we go into 2018. I think we will only see more of what we've already seen but it will become more stealth-like. The people that are looking uh, to exploit vulnerabilities on systems are becoming more clever. I think 2018 we will expect more security SaaS services. There is a national IT skill shortage, so we're always um, looking to uh, you know, recruit good new people to, into the team. We've, uh, we've tripled the size of our IT organisation over the last three years. The cyber security skills gap is significant and it continues to grow. Uh, I think at the moment it's being managed primarily via outsourcing through managed services. Um, I know through speaking to my peer group it's very difficult not only to get the right skill set but also based on your location that can be very challenging. <laughs>